you you have a fund called Just NFT Fund. Yes. So what is this fund about? Uh, the fund is basically uh, focused on uh, invest into um, NFT art uh, and also uh, traditional art. Uh, and also we want to uh, become like a bridge uh, between uh, NFT art and the traditional art. But uh, who does this fund belong to? Uh, myself. Okay. Yeah. But uh, why a fund and why don't you say a collection, for example? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? I mean, you could say, I possess this uh, people art and this Picasso and that's it. But you decided to create a fund oh, linked yes. to your film? Yes. So I think the fonts, um, the reason, uh, right now, I think the, uh, the main um, uh, income uh, source is myself. Uh, but we definitely are going to bring like more uh, prestigious fund and people uh, into this like uh, just an NFT fund. So uh, I think we already have like a pipeline. So we will announce uh, um, there's lots of other uh, crypto and hedge fund uh, and the institutions will become our LP uh, into the fund uh, to invest into NFT uh, art as well. But after investing, you are supposed to resell? How does it work? Oh, um, so currently, um, since uh, we know like our, our industry is like uh, five, 10 years uh, cycle, uh, just, just like uh, uh, hedge fund, uh, just like winter uh, capital uh, funds. Uh, so that, that's why uh, right now, I think we don't have like any intention of like sell like any art for now. Not now, but one day it's you are supposed to sell it, right? Um, I think it depends on like the market and the the fund management. But for example, you you bought the Picasso for twenty million dollars yeah. of nineteen thirty two, which is an excellent choice. I was amazed. Mm -hmm. It's one of your first purchases, right? In art, yeah. in real yeah. art. I mean, yeah. in a yeah. traditional yeah. art. <laughs> and 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 uh, so where is supposed where is supposed to to be this uh, this canvas? Shall it be in your home or shall it be in a safe? Uh, I think right now we are deposited like into one of the safe uh, um, uh, in in Hong Kong. So um, so so I think most of our art we will uh, um, store in those places. Isn't it sad? It good. It good. It uh, gives a good energy to have a Picasso from 1932 in your everyday life. Don't you think it would be good to have it in yes. front of you every day? Yes. Um, uh, so I think once we have the uh, 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 place, we can uh, publicly uh, display those uh, art pieces. Uh, that's definitely something we we will do. And have you ever experienced experience to live with art in your everyday uh, life? Yes, yes, definitely. So, um, so um, in um, back to like uh, 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 the time I was studying in the United States, uh, I, uh, 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 I would shoot lots of class like uh, focus on art studies. So, um, so I also um, uh, um, uh, uh, follow a mentor, uh, help me like understand uh, lots of about uh, uh, um, uh, art. Uh, um, that's why I think uh, we are also um, uh, like, like very, uh, uh, there's only a very small uh, amount of uh, percentage of the Asia uh, collector is focused on collect like Western arts. Uh, so I think we that that's some position we also want to be here. But for example, have you have you visited some museum? Yes, 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 yes. Where? Where? Uh, 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 I, I think we visit museum in in New, New York, so uh, uh, Soma, and, and also um, uh, 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 I also uh, visit museum in uh, uh, Tate Tate Museum uh, in, in London. Uh, in London, yes. Uh, and also, uh, um, uh, um, uh, I also uh, have a friend. Uh, he holds like a, a private museum in in Shanghai. Ah, okay.
So, but uh, it means all that is a corporate, uh, it's a corporate uh, behavior in a way. It's not for your personal interest. Um, I think um, both, uh, we have both. So for my personal interest, we want to purchase more art, um, but also uh, I want this to be more corp uh, corporation uh, behavior. So it can uh, last longer, right? So, uh, uh, and more uh, resources and people can come here to help. And uh, so you have made your money in Bitcoin, right? Yes. Does it have the same value, the same flavor as if you would have made your money in dollars? Um, um, I think first of all, um, uh, we interest in do traditional arts uh, is because I believe traditional art has uh, its real value. Uh, and uh, I, I want to become, and just NFT fund, want to become the bridge uh, between um, uh, traditional art and the blockchain world. So that, that's also uh, the reason why we uh, uh, focus our energy and the investment uh, on traditional art. But does it mean that uh, Bitcoin is not real value? Uh, what, what do you mean? I mean, um, for for century we were used to uh, a currency linked to the state, and now you know I'm I'm from the art world. I'm not from the Bitcoin world at, at all. So, it, do you think that Bitcoin, because you uh, it looks like Bitcoin, if you are smart, is easier to do than to make than uh, dollars or euros? So, yeah. is it a real value? Uh, I think Bitcoin is uh, it's not like positioned to be uh, like a currency uh, like Euro and the US dollar. I think Bitcoin position is more like a store of value. So it's like gold, uh, silver, uh, so, um, but more like a digital gold. So, so that's why uh, um, I think that's like what Bitcoin is. Uh, and, and I think right now what we are doing here is more than Bitcoin. So. Uh, for example, uh, the protocol I invented, the Tron protocol, uh, is more like uh, uh, a blockchain protocol. So, so everything can move on the blockchain protocol. So traditional art and NFT is just one piece of it. So, uh, but we want to uh, have this like just NFT font uh, to help like the traditional art and the NFT uh, artists to, uh, to migrate their work uh, to, to blockchain. But do you think that traditional uh, art will give more trust to your yes. process? Yes, yes, definitely. And you need that? Yes, yes, definitely. And why do, you, why do you communicate each time you are buying something? Is it important to have the media on your side? Uh, uh, what, what do you mean? I mean, you use the press. You bought the, you bought the Picasso. And yes. everyone knew that you bought the Picasso. You were the underbidder for the people, yes. the record price people, and you communicate about that. How do you need the media? How do you need the press? Why do you need the press? Oh, first of all, uh, I, I, I believe um, um, uh, the op openness uh, and the uh, transparency. So, uh, so all the art we collect, we will uh, post it on online. So it's like an online uh, blockchain museum. So everybody can see our collection. Uh, so that's why uh, we want to be uh, fully transparent. See, uh, trans fully transparent about that. Uh, and then the second thing is we want to uh, make all the um, art available on blockchain uh, because blockchain is also about like transparency. So everybody can see uh, what happened on blockchain. So, so that's also something I think we want to advocate here is uh, like uh, uh, those like arts and art pieces will not be like private anymore. So uh, this gonna be some like public assets and uh, also uh, you can share uh, online with, with everybody in the world. So, so that's also uh, something we, we want to do here. We want to bring like uh, Picasso, Monet and all the artworks to, uh, to the public, not like owned by like uh, one person or uh, owned by like private museum uh, uh, anymore. So who will advise you? Because you are not a specialist of art, who yeah. will advise you to buy uh, Monet, Picasso or Andy Warhol? 
we shall so, advise you. Yeah. So, so first of all, uh, I think right now we uh, collaborate with uh, uh, um, uh, Sotheby's and the Christie's. So they uh, will uh, give us like a list of the art pieces we can purchase. Uh, and also um, uh, we, we have like a team. Uh, they also work uh, uh, with uh, Sotheby's and uh, um, uh, work in Sotheby's and the Christie's before. So, so uh, the, our internal team, they will also give us some advice about our purchase. But uh, isn't it a bit naive not to think that Sotheby's and Christie's want to sell what they have? For example, if there's a problem of condition, of is uh, painting is not so good, they will not tell you because they want to sell. So their first aim is to sell, no? Yes, um, that's something we, we definitely gonna uh, uh, focus in the future. Uh, I think we will uh, continue to recruit uh, a very professional uh, art purchase uh, team uh, to do like enough due diligence on those uh, decisions uh, and the uh, purchase decision we make. And uh, so you also bought uh, two Warhol prints, I suppose, because it was for two millions, yes. three self-portrait. Yes. So uh, why did you buy uh, this Warhol? Yes, uh, I, I believe right now uh, we are focused on, first of all, we are focused on uh, those artists that is, uh, uh, is on the top, uh, uh, I think, sales uh, in the art markets. Uh, I think right now uh, the top three uh, is Picasso, uh, uh, Andy, Andy, Andy Warhol, uh, uh, and, and also uh, Basquiat. Uh, so, uh, Basquiat? Uh, oh, sorry, Basquiat, yes, Basquiat. Okay. Um, so um, the the Basquiat one we didn't buy because we feel like the uh, the evaluation price at that time is uh, is too high. I, I think it's around like thirty to forty million dollars. Uh, so so that's why we didn't um, buy the uh, Basquiat. I, I think it, the name is called Warrior. Uh, so um, but but right now definitely we want to be uh, focused on the um, the artist that has uh, has most of the. A volume and value. Mm. And so you want also to buy this kind of money, impressionist, very classical? Yes. yes. Uh, you are interested by money too, right? Yes, yes. And uh, tell me, let's speak about people. Yes. So do you think it's a, it's a, do you think people is a major artist or is just very expensive and it was the first time that a classical auction house was selling something? Um, first of all, I think Bipo is definitely uh, right now one of the top artists in N NFT space. Um, so recently we also uh, invest some uh, uh, money into Park, uh, PAK. Uh, so uh, Park and Bipo right now is uh, two uh, NFT artists that we are heavily invested in. Um, but definitely I, I think uh, if Bipo really wants to become like uh, recognized by the traditional art industry, uh, he still have a long way to go. Uh, but definitely, I think that's also the value of the uh, Jazz NFT fund here. So we want to become the bridge uh, between uh, um, traditional arts and, uh, and, and NFT art. But why do you think people is important? Uh, first of all, I think uh, uh, just like our uh, art price, uh, there is a database called art price in um, in, in a, a traditional art world, right? Uh, there is also like uh, uh, a similar like website uh, in the art price, uh, uh, and the people right now is the number one uh, among and all. And what's the, the name? What's the name of the database? Uh, database. Let me, let of me. this database. Yes, let me let me check for you. Uh, the name is called. Just give me one second. Oh, called crypto art. Crypto art. Okay. Yes, I will share in the. In, yes, in thank the, you. In in the uh, Zoom call, can can you see that? Yes, thank you. Yeah, you can see like right now. Uh, so uh, 
uh, you disable participant for share the screen. So you can maybe enable me to share that. Okay, I will, I will, I will write it anyway. Yeah, so, so you can see right now Bipo is number one and the park is number two. So uh, so I think right now in terms of the, the market value, uh, uh, Bipo and the park is definitely the top uh, uh, two uh, artists among the space. Uh, and, and, the, and also at the same time, I feel like Bipo and the parks aren't it's also uh, welcomed by the um, um, by the crypto space as well. Not only just myself, but also they have lots of the uh, crypto collector um, uh, um, focus on their our work. Uh, and also at the same time, uh, 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 make me feel like they are also very uh, uh, they have very good relation uh, with all the uh, NFT platform. Uh, for example, like Christie's. Uh, uh, Southbees and uh, also Southbees and also NFT Gateway, um, uh, and and also um, uh, I feel like their art is also very close to uh, the appetite of uh, today's crypto collector. Um, so it's all uh, based on uh, cyberpunk, uh, cyberpunks, and also uh, it's very uh, based on lots of the uh, elements. Uh, uh, those like. Uh, millennial is very uh, 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 um, uh, likable, so so that's why uh, I believe um, um, Park and Beeple's art is currently um, uh, dominant in the market. But when, if you think about it, you speak about money and you speak about success, right, for this yeah. artist. But in terms of quality itself, uh, for example, when Picasso began, it was not so popular. Yes. So I it so it means when uh, when you speak uh, when you when you speak about the success of people, um, you could miss the Picasso in NFT of today, right? Yeah. Because you just measure the success to say it's interesting. Yes. Um, first of all, I think uh, um, definitely uh, art and NFT arts. Uh, has a very uh, needs to have a long history and uh, needs to have time to to uh, to really uh, make the decision uh, who has the real value. Um, so so that's why I think our um, our uh, our environment decision uh, will definitely not only limited to people and park uh, for sure. So um, so we will also uh, invest into. Um, uh, other uh, NFT artists as well. That's also something we're gonna do uh, for our fund is to incubate uh, other uh, NFT ar artists for sure. Uh, but right now, you know, since NFT art is only like uh, for the whole industry is only have six months uh, history, right? Uh, so, yes. Uh, yeah, so, only uh, six months? Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I think it's only six months. Yes. Wow, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's not like traditional art has been here for uh, hundreds of years, right? So, so that's why uh, I think we still need time uh, to uh, to build up the standards uh, and, and even build out the industry, right? So we are the first like NFT fund in the industry, right? So uh, I think we, we will have critics, right? Uh, not only like ha have the pen, um, uh, artist, but also we need to have the critics uh, and we will also need to have the gallery, right? So like online gallery or any kind of the gallery help uh, those like artists that you present their artworks to the public, right? So we, we need, need to have like all uh, different kind of the uh, industry uh, player uh, into the NFT art play um, uh, industry in the first place before uh, uh, we, we can really call ourselves like uh, an NFT industry. Yeah, that's true. But the thing is that even if it is only six months, you dare to spend uh, 69 million, almost 69 million dollars. So six months and you dare to give all this cash to unknown artists just because they, they have a good, uh, they have a good, um, I mean, rank. That's impressive, right? Uh, I think not only uh, because of the rank. So uh, rank is just like something 
uh, uh, when we want to like share with people outside of the NFT R world. So who right now is the number one? I think is the most like straightforward, uh, easy to understand. Uh, but also I, I think the people why he achieved like success. Uh, 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 the background is very complicated. Uh, for example, he's I, I think he's the the first uh, 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 mature like artist to get into the NFT space uh, in the in the first place. So he's like in the industry like in a very very early stage. So so that's why when like NFT concept is, is explode. So he's like the first one uh, stand out right. So in, in this like very short period of time. Uh, and, and also, uh, it, it's make me feel like it's also uh, uh, crypto uh, uh, currency industry is also in, increased like dramatically in the past like twelve months. So I think that's also some the reason why uh, uh, a lot of the uh, crypto people uh, started to get interested into like NFT our world uh, in in the first place. Um, um, uh, and, and also on uh, the same time, I feel like. This is just like, for example, like uh, when the first stock right trade in Netherlands um, back to like seventeen uh, 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 centuries or something, right? So, um, so, so nobody ne- even know like what the stock market gonna be like in the next like uh, four hundred years, something like that. So, so that's why um, uh, right now I feel like uh, the value standard uh, and, and the everything is not like that kind of the clear right so so that's why the price itself is very volatile uh, in the first place and so uh what how much money were you ready to spend for the people sold at christie's in fact because i read that you were not happy about uh, about the fact there was kind of a technical problem at the end of the auction at christie's right yes i think it is uh our initial budget is like uh, seventy million dollars, so it is already like very close to the the one we want to be. I, I think the um, I, I I'm willing to increase ten million more, maybe to eighty million dollars. Uh, that's also something I want to bid in the first place, but the system didn't accept my bid. Uh, but I think it's around this range, so eighty million dollars for and for- and and uh, after that you bought another people, right? Yes. Uh, I bought like uh, another work called Oceanfront from the auction of uh, N- Nifty Gateway. Okay. For six million dollars. Okay. And what is your budget for the uh, the for the ten, uh, twelve following months now to buy art? Oh, so I think right now our budget is like a hundred million dollars, uh, some something like that. So um um so yeah that that's uh, but that's, it was uh, it, it's for traditional and NFT or what is it for? I think it's for both traditional and uh, 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 and the uh, NFT world together. Well, and so what's your next dream now? Uh, I think our next target we want to target uh, Monet first. So uh, since we want to um, because we are like art uh, fund, so we want to at least uh, own like all the classic uh, artist work first. So so that's wh- why we are also work on some classic artists. Have you seen that at Sotheby's there's a water lilies money? That yes. To sell? Yeah, I know. Uh, and, and also uh, we have one in the uh, Waterloo, right? Waterloo Bridge. What, sorry? You have uh, one Waterloo, in- w- Waterloo Bridge. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. But in, in, Water in, Lily is more emblematic, right? Yes, yes, yes. Of this talent. If you buy, if you buy a money, can you create an, an NFT identity for the money? Yes, that, that's something we will release like shortly. Uh, I, I think next week, something. Ah, so for example, you will create that for the 1932 uh, Picasso? Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's very interesting. So you shall do it for next week? Yes, yes. Some people are working on it already? Yes, people are working on it already. Wow, super. Yeah. Bon, merci beaucoup. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judith. Yeah. Bye. Bye.